Hi fans, I'm Nina Carter with Titans TV on the Horizon League Network, and I'm joined by head coach Autumn Rademacher. Coach, UDM started out the Horizon League with two losses, but you guys have now rebounded to win three in a row. What has been the difference in these past few games? You know what? It, it was a tough draw going up to Green Bay, and we just obviously did not have a great showing uh, up there. So uh, we then we go to Cleveland State, and we just didn't start the game out well, and we got ourselves into some foul trouble um, and just didn't play our kind of basketball for whatever reason. And then certainly going into Wright State, who uh, has a great player in Kim Demings, who was the preseason player of the year. Uh, that was something that we were uh, a little bit worried about, but we were able to come in, and that being the first game that Sine Shear came back uh, just gave us a new look and and really uh, in a positive way. So very excited about what we were able to do uh, at Wright State, being able to pick up one road win out of three, which was uh, we felt pretty good about coming home. Uh, the last couple games, UIC and Loyola, certainly you want to protect your, your home court. And our girls were able to step up, although at times it wasn't the greatest game because we, we certainly expect every team to come in here and, and want to compete with us and beat us, and, and they almost did. So it was a very two uh, grinded out type wins, but to be able to, to do that at home, and especially when our, our best player, quote unquote, is in foul trouble, um, it, it gives our other kids confidence to know that they can do it with or without it. Detroit now, now UDM now six. has two 1,000-point scorers and Sharita Brown and Yar Shayak. You yourself three. are the third leading scorer in Titan history. Talk about that achievement for these two. It, well, first of all, Yar Shayak, I mean, that's just an amazing thing for her uh, to come in and Brown. after five years being able to 1, score 1,000 points and, and get 1,000 rebounds. I think that's probably the thing I'm most impressed with is the 1,000 rebounds because I am nowhere to be found on that list at all. Uh, Sharita getting there as a sophomore is just an incredible thing. I, I still blows me away what she's been able to do for this program and how quickly she's been able to get that to that milestone. Um, so hopefully, you know, by the time her senior year rolls around that she will in fact be, if she continues the way that she is, um, the leading scorer of all time. But for myself, yeah, I, I just... I look back and, it, and certainly it, it starts with coming in prepared and those two absolutely came out of high school and did all the work that they needed to do to come into this program and make it an immediate impact. And we're, and we're just so happy to have those t caliber players here and, and now we're looking at some other freshmen that have come in and done a great job and, and may not accomplish things as quickly, but they, they will their names will be in those record books somewhere. Now Cleveland State comes to UDM on Thursday, a team that beat you a few weeks ago. After reviewing film, what do you guys have to work on in order to continue this home winning streak? Well, Sharita needs to keep her hands to herself. So if we can go ahead and, and keep her out of foul trouble, and I, I know lots of teams are starting to play her a certain way, and, um, you know, she's just so powerful on that block, and any time that anybody gets any type of uh, contact with her, they're looking to fall down and draw charges on her, which is pretty smart. It's pretty smart. Uh, but she, she needs to be more disciplined and just kind of have more awareness around her um, and just go ahead when those things happen that she just needs to play through it and not get herself frustrated. I know that our team really feeds off of her, um, but you know, if she does get herself in those situations, we have proven the last couple games that, hey, you know what, a Megan Hatter is going to step up, a Misha Fambro is going to step up, a Yar Shayak at any time can step up and fill that role. And then certainly uh, Sine Shearer is somebody that's just new to the rotation. She's still getting her kinks out, uh, but just excited that she's able to put the ball in the basket too. Now, Cleveland State has Shalonda Winton, who almost had a triple-double against you guys last time. How do you guys have to play her this time? Well, we'd like her to get food poisoning at pregame. That's one way to do it, because uh, I, I just am not sure if, if there is any way to stop her 100%, uh, but certainly our attention has to be on her at all times, and we're going to have to throw one and two people at her uh, on the offensive or on the defensive end and make sure that we box her out, make sure the help side slides over a lot sooner, and just make her work for everything that she gets. All right, well, thank you, Coach Rademacher, and good luck on Thursday, and thank you for joining us on Titans TV.